What's up everybody, Dan the Man in the house. I want to welcome you back to Dan the Man's Weekly. T today was Saturday, uh, June 19th, 2021. And now we just entered um, Sunday, uh, June 20th, 2021. Uh, I know earlier today was the Juneteenth, so happy Juneteenth. Yep. And later today will be Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to all you dads out there and especially mine. Happy Father's Day, Dad. May he rest in peace. And can't wait. I'm about three days away till... Yep, happy birthday to me. Mm, can't wait. Speaking of birthdays, this is yet another birthday tribute. I guess y'all are gonna like this one. So we so we will reveal the 28th birthday tribute in just a minute. But first, let's recap the previous 27 birthday tributes. So remember the first birthday tribute I did with SoCal Val. Second was Bree Bagwell. Third was Victoria Sinclair Loya. Fourth was Madison Livingston. Fifth was Caitlin Dubow. Sixth was Elias Sparza. Seven is Adriana Lopez, also known as Adi Luna. Eighth was Bianca Carrasco, also known as Bianca Dance. Ninth was Robbie James. I'm sorry, Roberta Sepulveda. Tenth was Lisa Sanchez of Kaylee Q. Eleventh was Mama Judy of the Desert Bonfire. Twelfth was El Paso Sweetheart Boxing Champ Jennifer Hahn. Thirteenth was Liz Tina. Fourteenth was Katie Salazar. Fifteenth was Chelsea Beth. Sixteenth was Daisy Blue. 17th is Ivy Magana, also known as Professor Aspion. 18th is Talia Lani. And 19th, Nicole Osborne. The 20th, Lizzie Martinez. The 21st, Emily Davis. The 22nd, Jenny Robbins. The 23rd, Chrissy Gurola. 24th, Calista Singley. The 25th, Shelly Moselle of the City Magazine. The 26th, Chang of the 306. And the 27th of recent is Richie Marufo B. Wams. Yep, those are my 27 birthday tribute alumni. And, <laughs> sorry I took so long. <laughs> uh, I'll find a way to go fast. <laughs> okay. Alright, and now this is the 28th birthday tribute you all been waiting for. Drum roll, please. <laughs> yep. 
Yep, she is El Paso Zone, uh, indie, folk, pop, uh, guitarist, singer, songwriter. An amazing song she has. And also a dear friend of mine. And her name is Courtney Sherwood. Yeah, um, I've known Courtney for, for several years. Um, she is an amazing singer and also an astounding songwriter she was and an amazing guitarist she played. Yeah. And um, yeah, because over the years she has an amazing songs that she has like um, Drive, Dearest Love, If Only He Knew, And plus, um, I want you, and and three of and three of the uh, Christmas songs she's did. Well, she's currently on she's currently on a new project. She is, but I, I gotta say, uh, she 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 has an amazing song she does. I and I've added several of her songs from the last year's um, the best of 2020 uh, part one slideshow, and some of her songs are are featured in there. And I gotta say, she has an amazing song she's did, and I'm praying one day she'll be on The Voice. So, but if she was, but if she wants to be on The Voice, um, she'll have to get some advice from uh, dear friends of mine who they appear, who they appeared on The Voice before. Yeah, some of them you know very well. Yes. Well, but I gotta say, um, she is an amazing singer-songwriter. She is. And um, you guys gotta listen to her music. It's so beautiful. All right. And yes, today is Courtney's birthday. So... Happy birthday, Courtney. All right, in tribute to her birthday, the footage yet again, which you're about to see, are scenes of my poetry slam. It takes place last Thursday, um, August uh, 7, June 17th. Uh, it takes place at the Open Mic, uh, located at the Pershing Inn. It is hosted by my good friend, Charita Gonzalez. Yeah, and um, the poet, the two poetries I did. One is a poetry to Courtney Sherwood, and the other is the based on my birthday poems on Facebook. It's called Courtney Abigail. Yeah, so um, here is the scenes of my poetry slam. Uh, I think Courtney's gonna like this one. All right, here it is. Take a look. Enjoy. Tonight we have a poet. Want to set it up right here, Dan? Uh, we have Dan. That way it's on. Yeah, nice. Steady. Yeah, so it's on that on channel. I suggest you check it out. I'll help you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Upcoming artists and stuff. Already Dan on Paso, Texas. So please give a warm welcome to Dan. Right there. Okay. You talk low, so it's not. Go, 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 go. All right, go. Uh, first off, thank you, Sharita. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, this poetry is for a singer-songwriter, Courtney Shearwood, and it's called a Poetry to Courtney Shearwood. <clears throat> Wait, are you going to do the whole thing? My friend, no. My friend, Courtney, amazing singer-songwriter, summer of Rose Brother, no, no, as a pro slider. In the midst of her performance, singing, songwriting, and guitar playing of the mix of the songs, mixing three genres, indie, pop, Oh, and those song and three of the songs that I like. One of the one of the three songs I like, Drive, where I see a coffee shop, the high. Dearest love, seeing the skies, seeing the stars in the skies above at, at night. Only if he knew the where the scenery view is true blue at Q. 
All songs reminds me of noted songs from Sting, The Deal of Gold, to Sarah McLachlan, Building a Mystery. It's like kind of a mood song to a blissful song. Seems so real, like two songs from Roxette. The Sweet Hello, The Sad Goodbye, and Almost Unreal. No, but like, yeah. Most of all, her heart, her songs, and right, her songs has heart, the writing sets apart, word by word, from love bird to loaning bird, and song bird, like the poetry of art, especially the masterpiece and composition of the notation uh, from her guitar, the enchanting performance. And there are two poetry birds, according to to the flight of the Duchess yeah. by Robert Browning. She was come, she said, to pay like her duties to the new Duchess to give youthful beauty. Then, three songs to the same tune by W.B. Yates. And I quote, stood or have marched the night long singing, singing a song. Courtney, my friend, you, you have the songs by heart, your tunes strung from a firefly, and the genre is played like a lullaby. Last I checked, you have a new project coming up. Look forward to see that project. Keep up what you do best, your singing, your voice singing at Quest, your craft songwriting are blessed. Your incredible singing songwriter at best. See you later, Courtney. Uh, the super songwriter. Summer of Rose Brighter with a prose lighter. Hope all is well. Thank you. And this next piece is based on my birthday poems on Facebook. And it is called Courtney Abigail. <laughs> She is the Gemini of the Mutable, the Alexandrite of the Pearl, meaning friendship, happiness, and longevity, linking to the element air, and the Rose of the Rosemary. It's because her birthday is on the 20th day of the sixth month in the year 1997, which happens to be the first day of the third season of the year, the summer. Born and raised in the 915, right here in El Paso. From a thriving scholar as Eastwood High School, class of 2016, to her successful rise to fame as an indie pop folk singer-songwriter, she embodies a woman full of drive towards success. Her, her favorite color, maroon, resembles from a chestnut uh, from France called maroon, resembles to a well-known band called Maroon 5, led by Adam Levine. This color reminds me of the song, We Bleed Maroon, by Granger Smith. <laughs> she symbolizes sympathy, splendor, perception, independence, life, wisdom, creativity, reliability, attributive, nostalgia, prudence, Sincerity, patience, keepsakes, complexity, flexibility, portrait, faith, friendship, and family. Courtney, my friend, here's to another year of experience. Wishing you all the best in your bright future endeavors. Keep up on what you do best as an up-and-coming indie, pop, folk, singer, songwriter, and guitarist. My best to your family, especially, especially your niece. Yeah, you. Oh, I'm sorry. Hope oh, all is well. Not that I'm P.S. Kind of you. Joseph. Says hello from Florida. Right. And I quote. That's it. Thank you. Woo! All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sharita. You're welcome. And thank you, Lando BC. And I didn't get your name in. That's Jordan. Uh, Jordan. Nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, keep going. Keep going. Okay. Well, all right. Um, don't forget find the find the the 28th birthday tribute to uh, Courtney Sherwood this Sunday, Father's Day, the the day of the first day of the summer. Do not miss it. Thank you very much, everybody. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook. Uh, find me on Instagram on YouTube. All right. Thank you. Back to you, Sharita. Thank you very much, everybody. You have a wonderful Sunday. Last one. Last call. Talk back. All right.
give it up one more time for Dan the Man. Like I said, check his show out. He's got a YouTube uh, channel and he has all kinds of highlights from the artist here in El Paso. So. Alright, and that was Scenes of My Poetry Slam uh, from last Thursday at the Pershing and it was for the open mic. Um, I just want to say um, thank you, Sharita, for for letting me for for letting me take the stage and perform my poetry. And I do apologize. There's maybe some cutoffs from sitting around there, so I guess maybe an accident. But luckily, I got everything, so that's a good thing. And sorry, I had the beginning in a little reshoot. So, but anyway, thank you so much. Charita, I appreciate it. Also, thank you, Lando VC, and thank you, um, Stephanie Obina uh, Jones, for an amazing performance with, once again, the Honky Tonk Mariachi Band. <laughs> all right, uh, thank you all. I appreciate it. Alright, and I, I know I've done this one. Here's that poetry to uh, Courtney Sherwood. I think you're going to like this one. It says, My friend Courtney, amazing singer, songwriter, summer of rose brighter with a prose lighter. In the midst of her performance, singer, songwriter, and guitar player, the mix of the songs are three genres, indie, pop, and folk. Well, that, and I added three songs I like. Drive, where I see a coffee shop, where's the hive. Oh, that's a wonderful coffee shop there in the east side, located on George Dieter. Please check out the hive. I like the coffee shop. Also, Dearest Love, where you see the stars and skies above, uh, day or night. <laughs> and only if he knew where the scenery view is true blue at Q. Hmm. <laughs> And yeah, this, uh, some of the songs, all songs, reminds me of noting songs from Sting of uh, Fields of Gold to Sarah McLaughlin, uh, The Building of Mystery. Kind of like a mood song to a blissful song. Seems so real, like two songs from Roxette, The Sweet Hello, The Sad Goodbye, and Almost Unreal. Oh, two wonderful songs, yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I realized I forgot to add in um, Gin Blossoms of... Um, of, uh, there was two songs, Allison Road and um, Hey Jealousy, and a couple of others. But <laughs> I wish I would have added in. Uh, I wish I would have added in Jim Blossoms. Yeah, and okay. Most of all. Yeah, her, her song has heart. The writing sets apart word by word from lovebird to hummingbird and songbird like a poetry of art, especially the masterpiece and composition of the notation from her guitar enchanting performance. And there's a poetry verse from Robert, Robert Browning, The Flight of the Duchess, and they quote, She was come, she said, to pay her duty to the new Duchess, the youthful beauty. Yep. And uh, another verse from Three Songs to the Same Tune by W.B. Yeats, and I quote, Stood or have marched the night long, singing, singing a song. Yeah. Hmm. That's two ver that's two poetry verse so, end quote so, <laughs> uh, this one and then I added in Courtney my friend you your song you have the songs by heart your tunes strung from a firefly and genres played like a, a lullaby <laughs> last I checked you have a new project coming up uh, looking forward to see the new project yeah and I always say keep up what you do best. Your singing, vo your voice singing at Quest, your crafted songwriting are blessed. If you, it's your incredible singing songwriting at best, and I say, see you later, Courtney. Amazing singer songwriter, summer of rose, brighter with a prose lighter. Uh, it means uh, not only that she also is in the middle of the summer, but that that's where to start the season of the summer. And with the rose, that's the month of the rose right here. And yeah, hope all is well. Yeah. <laughs>
Okay. And I think it may be familiar. It's the based on my birthday poems on Facebook that she's familiar with. And it's Courtney Abigail. Yeah, she's a Gemini of the Mutable, the Alexandra of the Pearl, meaning ha friendship, happiness, and longevity. The element is air. And the rose of the rose gray. The, the June flower month is rose. And uh, yeah, this is the last day of the, ge of the Gemini. Hmm. That's because her birthday is on the 20th day of the 6th month in the year 1997, which happens to be the first day of the third season of the year, summer. Hmm. Born and raised right here in El Paso, and you have Eastwood High School, class of 2016, and as to her successful rise of fame as an indie pop folk singer-songwriter. Yep. And her favorite color was maroon, like the chestnut from France called Maroon, and resembles to a one o band, um, Maroon 5 by Adam Levine. <laughs> yeah. And this color reminds me of the song uh, We Bleed Maroon by Granger Smith. Yeah. And she symbolizes uh, sympathy, splendor, perception, independence, blithe, wisdom, creativity, reality. Uh, attributive, nostalgia, prudence, sincerity, uh, patience, keepsakes, complexity, flexibility, portrait, faith, friendship, and most importantly, family. And I also wrote, Courtney, my friend, here's to another year of experience. Wishing you all the best in your bright future endeavors. Keep up what you do best as an up-and-coming singer, pop, folk, singer, songwriter, and guitarist as well. And I say my best to your family. Hope all is well. And quote. Yeah. But I gotta say, um, yeah, these, and that is the poetry to Courtney Sherwood and the, and my birthday poems based on Facebook, uh, Courtney Abigail. Yeah. Because uh, I, I know the I know she's familiar with the uh, birthday poems on Facebook, and but I guess she's gonna like the the poetry to Courtney. So, well, Courtney, I hope you enjoyed the the scenes of my poetry slam and the recaps right here. And uh, I'm gonna send her a copy as soon as possible. She's gonna like this one. Okay. All right. Well, uh, again, uh, Courtney, I hope you enjoyed the scenes of my poetry slam. All right. Alright, now it's time for the video birthday shoutouts to Courtney. For those who managed to send in their video birthday shoutouts, it was so thoughtful of you guys. Then afterwards, there's a few messages for those who are unable to send in their video birthday shoutouts with their sincere apologies. But, well, you're about to find out. Okay, so here are the video birthday shoutouts to those who sent to Courtney. Hope you guys are going to like this one. So, here it is. Take a look. One time, I was having a really bad day, and I was asking like God for a sign, and you had written something on a cup, and it said, you create your own sunshine, and you gave me the cup. I don't know if you wrote it yourself or not, but it really stuck with me for like the rest of my life, and hearing your music at the event at the coffee shop, and just meeting you on top of the street, it's been um, a wonderful journey, and, and I hope you much love and much beauty for the rest of your life, and that all your dreams you freaking come true, bro. You're so beautiful. And your voice is just, yes. Anyways, happy birthday. And hope you have a wonderful rest of your year. Hit me up, girl. <laughs> Courtney Shearwood, happy birthday. Hope you have a good one. From Lando, BC. Hi, this birthday shout out goes to Courtney. I hope you enjoy your day. Have a great one. Enjoy your birthday. My name is Sharita. Love you, girl. Hi, happy birthday, Courtney. Many blessings to you. Keep doing what you do. Stay positive. Thank you. It's another big headed comment. Go. Courtney Sherwood, happy birthday, girl. From all the comedians here at Scenic Bar, I'm C. Cage. So happy birthday, girl. Hope you have a good time for your birthday. Party! Ladies. Hi, Courtney Sherwood. I hope you have an amazing birthday. It's Miss V here. I can't wait to hear some of your new music coming out. 
Dan the man says you have some on the way, and I'll be on the lookout. So happy birthday. What's up, Courtney? I'm BB, and I want to wish you a happy birthday. Go! Hey, happy birthday, Courtney. Um, all love, all blessings. Make sure you remain safe, remain healthy. Happy another year around the sun. And at the end of the day, make sure that you keep having fun, keep doing your thing. And at the end of the day, hey, we all we got, man. Be blessed. Check me out. L. Will, no spaces, any streaming platform. We got it. But at the end of the day, Courtney, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay. Hold on, wait, wait. All right. What's going on, Courtney? Steven Puga here from El Paso Underground Comedy. Just want to wish you a very happy birthday, and I hope you have a great day. Happy birthday, Courtney. I hope you have a great day. Many blessings to you. This is JC Del Luz right here wishing you a happy birthday, Courtney. Wait, wait for it. Happy birthday, Courtney. That'll do. Okay. Happy birthday, Courtney. It's awesome. I want to wish you a very awesome day, productive. Hope you spend it with your loved ones. Hope you get uh, things done that you need to do. Most importantly, I wish you success and happy birthday. See you. Happy Shout birthday, dog. Happy birthday. 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 Happy birthday
uh, Ray Monroe Iola and Joe Pete both from Kaylee Q Dallas David Ochoa Bart Crow the Ghetto Blasters that's George Jason and Scott formerly known as Cordova and Drew Hubbard of Hubbard Music uh, Baggy Lulu and CJ of the GFM band and Stephanie Obina Jones uh, the lead singer of the Honky Tonk Mariachi. And the four of my birthday tribute alumni. Uh, birthday tribute number 27, Richie Marufo B. Wams. Uh, birthday tribute number 19, Nicole Osborne. Birthday tribute number 16, Daisy Blue. And birthday tribute number 6, Elias Sparza with Mark Ramos. Uh, again, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for taking this time for sending in the video birthday shout out to Courtney. She will, she will definitely appreciate it. Thank you so much. It was so thoughtful of you guys. Thank you. And message to those who I was unable to receive their video birthday shout outs. Um, they didn't have the time or scheduling conflicts, but, but they sent their sincere apologies. But they sent the message saying happy birthday, Courtney. The messages from uh, birthday tribute number 25, Shelly Moselle of the City Magazine. Uh, birthday tribute number 22, Jenny Robbins. Birthday tribute number 20, Lizzie Martinez with her husband Shane. And also um, Al Solano of Edison's Ear, Erica Tilly, also known as Conrad's Fire, Liz Liano, also known as the Lizard King, Dulce Mall, Tribes, Soul Parade, Lauren Corzine, Matthew Torres, Sarah Rebecca, and the cast and crew of Soundstage 9. Yeah, uh, they want to say uh, their sincere apologies. They were unable to send in the video birthday shout out to you, Courtney. Well, yeah, so, but they did say happy birthday. Well, just want to tell them. So that's the message from them. They said happy birthday. So, hmm. well, again, those are ones who are unable to send in the video birthday shout outs with their sincere apologies. Okay, and for those who did send in their video birthday shout outs to Courtney. Uh, thank you so much. I was so thoughtful of you guys, and you know, Courtney, I definitely appreciate that. Well, Courtney, I hope you enjoyed the my birthday tribute I did for you, uh, the scenes of my Padre Slam, and the and the video birthday shout outs that I got. Um, I just want to say you're an amazing singer, songwriter, actress. You, you've done so well, and you have, you have, you have a lot of heart to to write those songs and sing those songs. But I gotta say, I do praise your your music, and I gotta say you did an amazing job. Thank you very much. My thumbs up to you. Keep up what you do best, and I know you. I know you've been dreaming of being on the voice someday, but I'm gonna I'm gonna pray for that one day. I'm praying one day you I better see you on the voice while I'm sitting down right here watching the TV and I'm hoping one day I see you on TV participating in the voice. So well, I'm hoping for that. But anyway, um I just wanna say um I hope you enjoyed the birthday tribute I did for you and um and I hope you have a wonderful birthday and um and looking forward for your next project soon. Yeah, and I just want to say, give my best to your family and um, tell your dad happy Father's Day and I thank him for his service. And uh, tell Ray if I said hello. All right. All right. Well, Courtney, I just want to say, keep up what you do best 
You're an excellent singer-songwriter. Don't give up. Keep following your keep following the, your journey. Keep following that dreams you have. All right. A thumbs up to you. And I just want to say, from the bottom of my heart, mwah! Happy birthday, Courtney. Alright guys, uh, please uh, she check out her music on all media platforms, iTunes, Spotify, um, she has a band camp, and um, also check out YouTube as well. Uh, don't find her on her social media pages. Uh, unfortunately, the website is down. Uh, we do apologize for that, but um, um, I'll keep you posted if the website's back up, so um, I'll keep you posted. So Again, the website's down. Again, follow her on her social media pages, and please get her music on all media platforms. An amazing song she's got there. Alright, all right, and uh, don't forget, there's new music coming up very soon, so we will keep you posted on that. Alright, and then that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed my 28th birthday tribute to Courtney Sherwood. Again, happy birthday, Courtney. Y'all know what to do. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Message me. Like my page on Facebook. Be sure to subscribe me on YouTube. Hashtag Dan the Man's Weekly. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, this is Dan the Man, Tennessee. Signing out.